welcome and uh, today we will start learning about uh, drawing in latex using pgf ticks okay actually pgf and ticks are the packages which are used to create uh, graphics in latex okay pgf is an acronym for portable graphics format where a ticks is a recursive acronym for this term okay actually pgf is a basic level program which was started first and later it is what developed which is a set of higher level macros that use a pgf uh, program okay so pgf is automatically loaded when ticks package is used here i have a very simple document document class is a simple article author title and then title page for drawing simple and complicated structures and graphs we will basically use uh, two packages one is uh, ticks and other one is the pgf plots with the help of ticks package we will draw various simple and complicated structures okay and uh, with the help of pgf plots uh, we will draw several graphs but before going in detail about these packages i would like to mention some alternatives of uh, these uh, packages okay first one is the picture environment we can draw several structures with the help of picture environment without using any package okay it's a very simple just use a begin picture and end picture in a parenthesis we'll have to mention the width and height of the picture okay and then inside this environment we'll have to uh, put our content any structure can be drawn with the help of put command okay so inside this environment just write put in a parenthesis we'll have to mention the starting point it's a coordinate remember this and in a curly bracket we'll have to write the object so we'll see one example width and height i am taking one okay and starting point i am taking zero zero origin and i want to draw a line so for line we will have to use a line command in a parenthesis we will have to mention the direction and in this curly bracket we will have to write the length of this line okay and length i want to use two unit okay Actually, all units are defined in a point. We have to redefine. Okay, just use set length. It is defined in a unit length, so we will have to change this. So I want to make uh, one centimeter as a default. Compile your file. Now you can see that it's coming. We can change the position of this uh, picture. Okay, here just change the y coordinate. Okay, so I want to to write two. As you can see that. Okay. We can draw several structures inside this environment. Just copy and paste here. Actually, first one is in the y direction. This time, I want to draw a line in x direction. So, y coordinate will be zero. As you can see, that one more line I will draw. This time, I will use one one. As you can see here, okay. I'll copy this. I'll change the position of this picture. Now this time I want to draw a line which origin is different, okay. As you can see here. Okay. We can also draw a vector. So just write here vector, okay, and compile your file. All right. I want to draw this vector in x direction. We can also draw a circle. Just uh, put the origin and write here circle. Just remove this parenthesis. In a circle, we need to only write a diameter in a curly bracket, okay? And just compile your file. All right, okay? Here, the direction in each case can be given from minus 6 to 6, okay? For example, I will take one more. All right. We can also draw a field circle, so just copy this and paste here and at this place just use a star symbol okay, and compile your file. 
as you can see here all right so these are the some basic things which i mentioned here next alternative of a pgf and tick package is uh, ps tricks okay ps tricks is also a powerful tool but uh, it's not a portable and the third one is xy pick pick is a very old uh, package okay so it's very rarely used nowadays and the fourth one is that uh, dratech fifth one is that metapost and the last one is that xfig it is an external program but we can uh, export uh, text codes from uh, xfig uh, software okay now we will start tick learning so for tick we will have to load a tick package in the primal okay so just write here tick tick package provides a tick picture environment so we will have to write begin tick picture and tick picture okay inside this environment we will have to write the tick codes for some picture setting we can use here optional bracket okay this is the basic codes begin text picture options text codes and end text picture alternatively we can use a text command just write here text square bracket options and in a curly bracket write text codes so either just use this environment or use this command okay both are the same now I will stop this tutorial at this point and in the next tutorial we will look about the options and teach codes in detail okay. So till then bye bye thanks for watching.